Hello, this is Ben Hollifield, bringing you a quick demo of the Madman applications for ServiceNow. Now, Madman is actually two applications. There's MAD, the Meaningful Adjacency Data Factory, and MAN, the Meaningful Adjacency Navigator. Uh, both do need to be installed separately from ServiceNow Share, and odds are you'll use them both together most of the time. Um, and that's great, but, but what, what is Madman? Um, at the highest level, Madman is a relationship building mechanism server side, and then a navigation navigational method uh, client side to traverse these relationships that are built. And once you install Madman, the easiest way to get started and, and see what we're talking about is to go over to nodes, which is the, the core of Madman, and we'll talk more about that later, and to create a node. And a node loosely correlates to any record in the system. So in this case, let's go to the user table. Let's pick Fred Luddy, and we'll make that our first node. And we can save this, and as soon as we save it, we'll see that we have a launch madman link down here. So let's go ahead and launch that. And this will bring up uh, the ability to choose a context. We're not going to have a context right now. We'll click OK. And this will bring up sort of the, the very basic man user interface. This is the one that ships with man. It's called Bobby Draper. And um, this is basically a test mechanism to see how the relationships are built and, and kind of navigate relationships. So when we open up Fred Luddy, we'll see that Fred Luddy is now the center of this current page. And what we have done here is nothing more than a list of all the relationships that exist for Fred Luddy in your ServiceNow instance. Um, these can be upstream and downstream relationships based on reference fields. They can be scripted relationships that you build in server-side script. Um, they can also be mentions, which are uh, keyword mentions of uh, Fred Luddy's name or user ID in any other record in the system. So we can see everything about Fred in, in one place right here, which is kind of novel in its own right. This hasn't currently existed in ServiceNow, a place where you can see all relationships that exist in a system for a user. And uh, well, all we can really do with Bobby Draper is just run through these relationships. We can say, okay, Fred works uh, for Acme North America. We can click that, and it'll open Acme North America, retrieve all of those relationships, load those, which can sometimes take a while, but there is caching in Madman, so you'll find that over time things get faster. Uh, then we see all the relationships for company Acme North America. There's an incident to uh, number 12. We can open that up and see all the relationships for that incident. Um, we can see that it goes to assignment group database. Click that. And you can see all we're doing is just traversing relationships in the system. Um, and in this test interface, we're building breadcrumbs um, to track all the hops we go through as these relationships build out. And they, um, they will often probably curl back on themselves. This can go on forever and ever and ever. You never reach the end of these relationships. Um, and in here we can go back and, and continue to navigate these relationships. So like I said, this is really just a basic user interface to show, um, to demonstrate the way we can traverse these relationships in the system. Um, and what we expect is that with MAN, the, uh, the navigator, you will be building your own custom interfaces to traverse these relationships for your particular needs. Um, it is built on Angular JavaScript and Bootstrap. It includes um, UI Bootstrap. It includes UI Router. It includes Angular Animate. It includes all the tools that you need to make a really rich, um, kind of modern application experience um, for your Madman interface. And so that's great. Now let's go see exactly what data is driving this. So let's get back to the node. When we first went to nodes, there was only the one that we had just created. Now we'll see there are a few more nodes created. Because as you traverse the user interface, um, it's going to build up these nodes for you automatically. And if we hop into Fred, we can see that now he has some data inside this node. And all this data really is, is Fred Luddy. This is the current node that Fred represents. And then we have some data. We have adjacent node data, metadata. And this is all the links, all the relationships that exist for Fred. And we have node fields metadata. And this is all the data that exists for Fred on his specific node for Fred. So we have the links and we have Fred. And all this is, is a JSON um, string. Uh, that we can drop into a JSON parser and look at and, and see all the data we have to work with. So what's happening is whenever we hit a new node in the Madman interface, we're requesting this JSON information, and if it exists, we'll return it. If not, we'll gather it um, and then return it, and then you can use that data however you like in that uh, Angular front end. So you may be thinking, okay, that's really neat, but how is this actually useful to me? Um, and it's a good question. So most of the time, you probably don't care about every single relationship in your ServiceNow instance to every single record in your ServiceNow instance. Um, however, when you think about most user portals or most applications in general, they're nothing more than a series of relationships. Um, when a user logs in to Hive, for instance, all they really care about is the instances, the change requests, the incidents um, that are related to them. 
And then if they click into, say, an instance, all they really care about are the change requests and the you know people working on that instance, the things that are related to that instance. So as you navigate through these records, um, really any page in most any website um, that is personalized to you is just a series of relationships to whatever you're viewing at the time. So what we need to be able to do is to filter down those relationships to the things we care about. We don't care how we relate to everything in the ServiceNow system. We care about how we relate to a few things that are sort of curated for our needs. And so that's what MAD allows you to do. We have these nodes, but in addition, we have things called contexts and node types. And the node type is the important center of this. Um, in a node type, you can come in and specify for a given table, what do we care about? Which kind of links do we care about? Downstream, upstream, scripted, mentions, what tables do we want to exclude? And then for each table, what data do we want to gather? Uh, we can say that for a particular table, say the user table, we care about gathering a specific set of fields from that table, like the name, the email address, the phone number. And in addition, um, we don't have to stick with just those fields that are on the record. We can come down and we can use server-side scripting to add additional fields, maybe counting up how many incidents are assigned to a given user. Um, things like that. And we can return those objects um, or add those, uh, those items to our object that we can then use in our UI. And so essentially node types are allowing us to specify very specifically which relationships we care about, what data to gather for those relationships, and what data to gather for the nodes themselves. So ultimately with a little bit of configuration and potentially very little code, you can build a web of nodes that contain only the curated information for that node that you care about and then the curated information for the next hops from that node that you can then navigate throughout. So it gives you the ability to build a very lean, customized data structure that you can use to build out an interface of, uh, of relationships between different items in your ServiceNow instance. And, um, and we think that this can ultimately, ultimately be used to build some pretty interesting um, web interfaces, considering how much data is in ServiceNow and how many relationships automatically exist in ServiceNow. Uh, we're just scratching the surface of this internally. We built the, the mechanism here to do this, and now we're experimenting with some, some potential use cases um, internally here at ServiceNow. Uh, but we want to get it out uh, on share so that other folks can start to use it as well and help us um, sniff out any bugs, sniff out any potential enhancements, and see, uh, see just where we can take this Madman interface. Um, again, this is a very high-level um, high level overview. We encourage you to go out and grab Medman, play around with it. Um, I think the, the further you get into it, the more you'll appreciate the potential use cases. Thanks a lot.